Hi, welcome to Superstore. We're finding you super deals super fast. I'm JC, and today we're looking at the 2013 Fly F2 Carbon Helmet. This is the Trey Kennard Replica Edition. Trey Kennard is one of their big dogs, and they're pretty proud of uh, all the work that he's done in designing and R&D work with their line of gear, this helmet included. They also have several other models available. They have an Andrew Short replica. They also have the Acetylene and the Dragon Alliance, as well as uh, some, some plain stock colors. So what you find with this helmet are some pretty nice features. It's sort of their upper midline, so they do have one uh, more expensive lid and a couple that are more affordable, but this one is going to provide you with some nicer things than you'll find at the entry price point. The F2 Carbon gets its name from its shell. It has a woven carbon fiber exterior shell that also uses a Kevlar composite blended into that. And what you get is something that's very light and something that's very strong. Um, motocross guys, they only race for 20 or 30 minutes. You know, woods guys or, or desert guys, maybe you're riding all day. So having a lightweight helmet, no matter what you're doing is, is important because it's going to help up the comfort factor and also uh, lessen your fatigue. So carbon uh, and, and Kevlar there helps keep this light yet strong. On the shell, um, speaking of comfort, is the cooling system. You have to have air in and air out in order to keep your head from overheating. You don't want to boil that brain while you're out there trying to uh, focus on the trail. This thing has 11 intake vents. You can see a lot of them here on the front, uh, the chin bar and, and the mouthpiece in front. It also has a couple up top, these here that are wider and some way up here on the top. Uh, that's all going to draw cooler air in uh, and, and through the EPS foam, then it will exit out the back. The back has four exhaust vents. This is going to pull that heated air away from you and it's going to keep you cooler and more comfortable in the long run. Uh, before we go inside though, there's also a nice feature here around the front. Um, Nice big eye port. It's got a rubber nose guard and a roost protector here to keep you from getting trash inside your face. Uh, but something else that's nice, some of the vents here are designed directly for reducing the fog. These are your anti-fog vents. There's three of them across the brow. That's going to push cool air down into your goggles and vacate that uh, warm, moist air. Some aluminum hardware all around. I really like aluminum hardware. It's a little bit more durable. I think it looks great, it's lightweight. You're gonna have it here on the screws for the visor. You also have it uh, on the D-rings underneath and on your rivets. One of the things about this helmet that's nice is that all of the vents do have a mesh cover. I've actually been riding with this helmet myself for a while, and as you can see on my lid, uh, that stuff really comes into play. I mean, I've got pine needles stuck in it, uh, and that's the idea. It keeps junk from getting inside your helmet where uh, it can clog up the vents over time. This is what you're going to find after you ride with the helmet for a while. It does resist scuffing pretty well. I mean, it, it's not really scratched up and I've been bashing it off of trees and whatnot. This thing is holding up. It's got a nice clear coat finish on it. Uh, the graphics have remained intact and you've just got some light scuffing, but this is kind of what you're going to expect after you've put a little bit of wear and tear on this thing. So. One of the things that I've noticed since I've been wearing it, over time, any helmet gets a little dirty and stinky. So being able to remove the liner, that's important. This is a size medium helmet. It comes with 35 millimeter cheek pads. These pads pop out real quick. These are comfortable. They are very good at soaking up your sweat. Um, and you can either pull them out between motos to let them dry, or you can actually pull them out and toss them in the washing machine, which is going to allow it, of course, uh, that extra level of cleanliness. Yanking out the comfort liner, you're going to see what's inside is dual density EPS foam. Now this foam is designed to have a progressive uh, absorption of impact, okay? This, this is the foam that's going to protect you. It cushions your head from the hard outer shell. Now you can see there's two separate pieces, this top piece and then the main portion around the edges, those have different densities. So it's going to absorb impacts in different areas a little bit differently and try to cushion your brain as much as possible. Uh, also what you can see in here are lots of channels. These channels are designed to work in conjunction with the air vents. So air comes in, it moves around the area closest to your head and pulls that heat away and again venting out the back. This is the blue model. You can see that. It also comes in red and orange. Um, like I said, there's several different uh, graphic packages available to kind of suit whatever your tastes are. I've been running this helmet in conjunction with the light hydrogen gear. 
But you can see behind me, uh, overall, really clean looking package for 2013. You can find more details about the F2 carbon helmet online with some additional pictures, but thanks for stopping by.